Yo, so in this video, I'm going to cover how to automate creating spin tax within your cold emails because nowadays in 2024 or heading into 2024, spin tax is a huge part of deliverability. So making sure you just max it out as much as possible is going to be crucial. And it does take a while sometimes. If you're, if you're doing it manually, it makes the whole, um, you know, copywriting process like two or three weeks longer. But <clears throat> with ChatGPT, we can actually automate most of it. You'll have to make some edits, but I'll cover that. So let's just dive into it. So I have this document here. It actually has like three GPT prompts I use the most for automating certain things. Um, so I'll leave this below. It has for spin tax, you know, the company and formatting, I remember that yesterday. And even if you want to do AI personalization, I personally don't really use it very often, but if you wanted to, this prompt um, is probably the best I've found so far. So you can take that. And it's for GPT for sheets. But anyway, so let me show you how to do the cold email spin text copy. So you want to do, what you want to do is you want to take this and then come over to GPT. Recommend having GPT-4. Plug in here. And the way this works, um, delete the little quotations. The way this works is, let's read this. So in the same bracketed format, add X different variations of the following sentence with this, the line, like, you know, the little, the little bar thing in between each new output. So let's say th this works sp uh, specifically for smart lead, right? Because the way their spin tax uh, works is like, you have these brackets, one bracket, and then like the bar. I think with instantly, it's a little bit different. So adjust it accordingly to whatever cold email setting software you're using. But in this case, we're using smart lead. So this is how it works. So basically what you do, whatever, however, however many variations you want to make, um, you switch out the X. So let's say it's do five. You don't really need any more than five different variations of a sentence. And then in the input section, you just want to get rid of the input, delete that, make sure you leave the little bar. And so let's do, um, let's do like a case study example, right? So let's say we recently helped Nike generate one million dollars with our you know TikTok ads strategy. Something very basic. Now when we input this, it's gonna give us five different variations. And you'll probably see that some of the the way it writes it is a little weird. So you're gonna to have to go in and adjust it, but the beauty of this, it actually kind of gives you some new ideas and gives you fresh ways to write the copy. And of course it makes it 10 X faster because you know, you don't have to write all this shit. So as it's here, we got the original, then we got our TikTok advertising approach recently boosted Nike's revenue by a million dollars. See, it's a little weird. I would probably chop out some of this, but it is a different take. Nike saw a like $1 million increase in sales due to our innovative TikTok, blah, blah, blah. So you see here. So, and as you can see, the the formatting is good. Um, I can literally copy and paste this, throw this in the smart lead, and it'll be good to go. So this is this makes it super fast, super useful. You can do this for a lot of different things. Um, something that I do is I add quotes at the bottom of the, the email to, you know, increase the spin tax. And a way you can just get a ton of quotes instead of like searching up a bunch of them. Literally just take this. Um, Take one quote. Let me get a quote real quick. All right, so we got a quote from the boy David Goggins. And let's say in the same bracket of format, um, let's do this. Generate, you could do like 30 unique quotes with the blah, blah, blah. So this should generate 30 different quotes, and you can just copy and paste it. Throw it at the bottom of your email and you'll be good. So yeah, it'll even give you quotes that are similar to the one that you put in. But yeah, so you got all that spin tax now and you can just spam the shit out of it, right? Um, it makes things super fast. I used to manually type out spin tax. I used to hate, like I used to hate this so much, um, manually typing out the spin tax, but this makes it like a million times faster and you can get a ton of different, like using this, you. Not a single, like if you send a million emails, not a single one would be the same, right? Because you get so many different variations from the, the GPT. But um, yeah, anyways, 
you can basically do this for any part of the email. Let's say the intro. You can do like, hey, hi, hello, greetings. It'll give you a bunch of different outputs. Um, also for the signature, you can switch that up. But my advice for spin tax, like switch up everything, literally everything, even even your name, like at the bottom, create different variations of that. So let's say we have, you know, um, this is a bit off topic, but let's say we have Pierce Christian co-founder of you want to have like different variations of the name. So like, let's do you know, Christian, then Christian, he, and then you got like, put your first name first or last name first. So like, Consencia, Christian. It's like create as many variations as, of everything as possible, including, including this, you know, do like director at Rev Growth. You switch it up. So who's GPT? Um, just create different variations of the prompt depending on what you're doing. And yeah, just leverage this. Create a bunch of spin tax. You only have to do this like once. And then for every future campaign, I mean, you could basically, you can copy and paste all these quotes again for everyone, um, whoever you're running outreach for or for yourself. Because there's so many different variations. It's like, it doesn't matter. But anyways, hope this helps. And yeah, I'll leave this document below. Um, so you can just copy these GPT prompts and use them for yourself. But yeah. Hope this helps.